the deal? What's the deal? It's your boy, the Kid Blast. We up here at Firehouse Studios with a very special guest with us today, Maya V in the building. Yo, what's up? What's the deal? How you been? Good, chilling. Appreciate you for sliding on us today. Thank you. Um, so, are you originally from New York? Yeah. Well, thank you for coming all the way from New York to, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> to come deal with us here in Chicago. That's what's up. Um, what part of New York are you from? The Bronx. Nice, okay. Um, I noticed that the Bronx is like really turning shit up right now for New York. Like that's kind of where like everybody that's making a wave right now is kind of from, right? That's kind of like, is it to say like the last hood place in New York? Like I feel like everything's kind of gentrified. Like the Bronx. York. Yeah. <laughs> the last hood place. I wouldn't say the last hood place. I would say like that's where a bunch of people that's rapping is coming out of. But it's like it's lit over in Brooklyn and other places. I just too. feel like you know with um. Prices being what they are for like a like a you know one bedroom sh like small apartment like I feel like you can only get like you know any type of decent spots like it's like it's more uptown. expensive over here in Chicago. You think so? Nah, Chicago. It's like Chicago way more way expensive over here. Man, I wish. <laughs> um, but um, so you just dropped this. You just dropped this last single that keep it keep, keep it, it P. Free. Um, tell me about that. Who produced that? Uh, Mike Major. That's what's up. How did you uh, get into with him? Or is he somebody you've been working with? Uh, no, he's a producer from Atlanta. Okay. And I got connected through another connection, like connecting with him. Is he the only song you got? Uh, is that the only song you got with him? Yeah. Or you got some other joints in the mix? Okay, yeah. that's what's up. There's other stuff coming on his beats. Okay, bet. But that's the only thing out right now. That's what's up. The visual for that is pretty fire. Who, who shot that video for you? Uh, Kalo. That's what's up. That's what's up. Um, is he... Is he the same person you've been locked in with for the last visuals you dropped for um, what was the the Duce and the Belt to Ass? Has he been has he been shooting your videos or? Is um, it... I, he shot one of my videos before, but he's not the only one I'm locked in with. Like okay. I worked with CPD, Launch Team, um, a couple other cameramen. Like it wasn't I wasn't locked in with nobody really. That's what's up. Um, do you finance your own visuals or do you have management that be you know what I'm saying putting yeah. up the rent for that? I was gonna say because your visuals are like hella crisp. Like hella clean. <laughs> Thank I feel you. like you know new up and coming artists have a real hard time getting that quality at first. You know what I'm saying? Like so that's that's dope. Um, who who produced that last record? The last record you dropped was the Duce record. Before Keep It P. Yeah. Um. No, I think I think I had a song after that. Oh no, I did Belt to Ass. Belt to Ass. That was that was the one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I did have a song before. Um. Before Keep It Pee. Who's um who produced that one? Um a producer I used to work with. Oh you don't you don't work with no more? <laughs> nah, not no more. What happened? Some messy happened? Nah, I just don't work with him no more for real. Okay, okay, okay. That's what's up. Um, is there anybody that you are really hope like really trying to lock in with as far as like on the production side or like a producer? Yeah. Um I don't really know a lot of like other producers. Like, I know like I know on a lot of bigger artists' records, like there's like tags to begin there. There's like, but I don't really know the names of a lot of producers. Mm. Other producers. Okay, okay. Do you do you find yourself writing a lot to like YouTube beats? Is that how you? Where you oh get your... no, I stopped using YouTube beats a minute ago because okay, like everybody good. will have YouTube beats. Facts. Everybody gets on the YouTube. It'll be like least. 30 people on that beat, unless it's yes. like something that's trending. Yeah. But just to go like find a beat, no. Okay, so you just be going to like your email, your, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, my like, email, or I hit the couple of producers that I got locked in with and like have them send me beats. Okay, that's well, so who, 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 what producers are those that you're like locked in with? That you um, got? like Strider, Shaw Major, a lot of producers that's um coming out of New York. That's what's up, that's what's up. H how old are you, by the way? 18. 18? Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. So you, <laughs> are you still in high school or you just finished high no, school? No, I just you graduated. Just, you just graduated yeah. la this, this last. Mm -hmm. Couple months ago, that's weird. I ended. Damn, that's crazy. So, what are you? Is there? Is it just music now, full time, or are you planning to go to like college or some or like? Um, I don't know. I could, but like right now, it's just mostly music. Like, I love doing my music. So that's what's up. I feel like people think that you gotta go to college to do um. Like to be big or successful, but like I don't think that's true. That's a fact, especially, I mean, it really just depends. If you're trying to be like a lawyer or a doctor or something. Yeah, shit, I was about to say, it depends on what you're doing, what but, you want um, to do. But that's what's up. I know, I mean, damn, you really have 
made a way for yourself already at this young age because I, I, I definitely like seeing the people that was following you and shit. Like, you have a lot yeah. of big artists that you follow me. I mean, I, I just I just got put on. I know no. the firehouse. <laughs> I know the firehouse page does because I was looking on you. For, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. um, he said, yeah. "I'll follow from both the pages." Um, I know, like, definitely a lot of people that that we follow on the on the firehouse page follow, follow you. Follow so, me. Yeah, I was yeah. like, damn, like they already know we're late. Like, who? Like, we're hella late, <laughs> low key. Like, you know what I'm saying? But shout out to my man Millie for putting me on. Um, so you only in Chicago for a couple of days, or, or? Uh, for the week. Okay, that's what, what you what you got going out here. Or what you doing out here? Just uh, I got a couple platforms, freestyles. I went to um two like clothing brands today. They gave me some merch. That's like, what, like that. Who did you uh, pull up on? Um, I pulled up on Iridium and another clothing brand. I cannot think of the name right now. I'm sorry. It was a <laughs> real complicated name. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jug? Oh, you Jug Juggernaut? Juggernaut, yeah. I don't know. I could not think of that name. Shout out to Juggernaut, yeah, for sure. They, are, they definitely a staple. They definitely like to, um, you know, show It's funny that they and, both had, like, out of, like, crazy names. Yeah, for sure. They definitely, yeah. Because usually, like, go to clothing stores and it's, like, the same type of... Yeah, sure. Drippy tees. It's not, like, nah, something that's Chicago, <laughs> Chicago definitely got a different kind of swag when it comes to the fashion. Like, they definitely on top of their shit out here. I got to give it to them. Yeah. Um, that's what's up. That's what's up. So, um, I seen that you uh, were on, on the radar not too long ago as well, right? Mm -hmm. How did you end up linking with Gabe? Or he just, same kind of thing, he just found you out the... Yeah, he, I, uh, he probably, like, found me before, but I think he wanted me to come on for the first one, and then I went and did two. I nice. did a part one, like, last year, and then more recently I did a part two. Yeah, yeah, I seen the part two one. That's yeah. fire. That's dope. Um, did you, you was able to do the interview too, or you just... Um, oh, yeah, I did the interview both times that's, that's that I went dope. on. That's lit. I only seen the performance stuff. That's lit. Um, yeah, he's good at he's good at digging digging through the mud. Yeah, he put me on to some world. underground artists yeah, when I he, went there. He was talking about, um, like, artists that he think would match my sound. And then I never heard of them, but then you look it was up, fire, yeah. Yeah, yeah, nah, for sure. He's definitely got an ear, for sure. Um, I also saw, going through your gram, that you, you're dating... Uh, J Dot Geek yeah. as well. Like y'all just celebrated <laughs> y'all one year anniversary or whatever. Yeah. That's kind of fly. Like, how did y'all? How did y'all like get into? Him? How did we meet? Yeah. Uh, we met like well over a year ago. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> and um, we met in the studio. Okay. It's That's a long cool. story, but like we met in the studio and then we started talking. That's what's up. That's what's up. Y'all got like a. a a power couple, you know what I'm saying, yeah. situation going on right now, right? That's fire. Um, I know he's definitely got his thing going, too, right now, like, in New York, right? Well, yeah. He's from the Bronx, too, or where he... Um, yeah. Of course. <laughs> Everybody fire from New York coming from the Bronx right now. Like, I can't even call it. Um, but that's what's up. Um, so what What do you got on the horizon right now? Like, what's... You just dropped this single. You got another single coming, or are you thinking project... Are the labels? Uh, I feel like I want to eventually like come with the EP. Okay. But um, it's definitely another single coming soon. Okay, bet, bet. Because I feel like everybody in the world done heard Keep It P. It's definitely going. Like, if you it. haven't heard Keep It P, like you're not keeping it P. Facts. You already, <laughs> there you go. You heard it. That's what's up. Um, so are you thinking like with the EP, are you gonna drop something like all brand new shit for an EP, or are you gonna use some of these singles? I feel like it's gonna be. A mixture of what they already know me for and then some other stuff that they never heard me do before. Okay. So, like, it doesn't be, like, just straight. They would, What they would be expecting for the EP. That's what's up. That's what's up. Um, and have you had any uh, labels knocking at the door yet? or? Yeah. But uh, what a, what's your mind state? Like, are you on some independent shit or are you trying to get a deal? Or are you trying to be, like, you know what I mean, the next Ice Spice? Or are you trying to be, like... No, I'm trying to be the next Maya V. Like. There you go. There you go. That's what's up. Um, so, are you like, are you keeping the, the labels at arm's length, or are you kind of like listening to? They the around. Yeah, they like. around. I would always, I, one thing I always recommend when I speak to um, young artists that are like on the verge, where they have a lot of label attention, or they're starting to get that label attention, is um, try to keep the music that you've been making up to this point like to yourself you know what i'm saying like if you sign something try to sign for future shit if they if you if you really going viral for like a certain song and you got to sell them that song fine you know you, you give them that song but try to keep your old catalog 
talk for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because you said your old catalog, like the shit you've been, like the all these mm. all these singles that you've been dropping. Don't just go give them to the label just because they cut you a check. You know what I mean? Like yeah. keep all that shit for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like you signed me for some new shit. You know what I'm saying? I got new music y'all could buy, but the shit I already got out is is already is done. It's already <laughs> it already belongs to Maya V Incorporated. Like I'm not giving y'all yeah, that. You know what I'm saying? Because sure. That's really what they, they're in the business of doing is just buying up catalogs, you know what I'm saying, and, like, leaving an artist struggling, you know what I mean? Like, that's, like, the M.O. of record labels right now. So you just got to, you know what I'm saying, make sure that you make the right moves and shit when you when you sit down with them. But definitely they can help you, you know what I'm saying, and get in the position that you need to be in. But, you know, you just got to, you know, bob and weave type shit, you know what I'm saying? But that's what's up. So you got to... you don't, do you have an idea when you want to drop this EP, or are you just you still just spitballing? Um, I don't know. I say maybe like the beginning of the next year. Mm, okay. Something like that. So we still got another little few months, maybe yeah. another couple of singles before you. you yeah, drop definitely that. another couple of singles okay. before. That's what's up. That's what's up. Well, man, I, I appreciate you for sliding on us. And, uh, thank um, you. Uh, you gonna you gonna keep it P with us on the fire escape then, or uh, on the for the freestyle? Word. All right, bet. <laughs> I don't think either one of us could read that. Yeah, I was, about to say, I, was, I was trying to say what you're saying, but I couldn't hit it. Oh, okay, no, I was telling you, the, the, you tell everybody that Keep It P is not only on all platforms, but it's also on BET, MTV, and Music Choice. Stream it, watch it, check it out. Like, let people know it's on BET and MTV and Music Choice. So if you could, I don't know if you could add that. Yeah, yeah we could add that. Mm -hmm. that <laughs> and I just, I just, I just fucking... So, yeah, yeah. So that keeping it P, where I know it's on YouTube. Um, I know it's going viral on YouTube. Where else can we yeah. find it? Uh, Y'all can find it on BET, Music Choice, nice. and TV. All that it's going crazy everywhere. So everybody tap in if you didn't hear it already. Um, is the single out on streaming platforms yet or not yet? Yeah, it's on Spotify, Apple Music, okay, everything. That's what's up. That's what's up. Um, for everybody out there, let them know where they could find you guys as far as like your social. Y'all can find me at Maya Davaton on Instagram. It's Maya Baby on TikTok. Mm. It's Maya Davaton on everything else though. Okay. Bet. Twitter, Facebook. Bet. Well, I appreciate you for sliding on us. Um, I appreciate you for having me. Definitely, definitely. We definitely going to get you back again too because we like to keep everybody like locked in. So whenever you come back to Chicago, you know what I'm saying, we make sure to tap in. I'm going to definitely be back. You know what I'm saying? Maybe get in the studio, cook something new. My boy Mafia got beats for days. Um, but yeah, I'm your boy, the Kid Blast. We up here at Firehouse Studios. We appreciate y'all for tuning in.